so hello guys and welcome back to another video i hope i'm very clearly audible because um go, go, go. i am uh, actually using a mic for the first time wow actual professional uh, look at me aren't you proud yeah so today i'm going to be uh, like i watched a movie named uh, jojo rabbit so yeah i'm going to be talking about that movie uh like i just have to give you a giant spoiler alert because i'm just going to explain that movie uh, like um, you are a guy at your house uh, you see this really cool movie uh, trailer which includes hitler and uh, you actually don't know who hitler is or what kind of crime he has committed but uh, Uh, he is very evil and uh, you want to know about him so you want to go and watch jojo rabbit but um, you can't because of certain certain problems that i absolutely don't know about and which is why yeah i'm going to tell you what happens in jojo rabbit because you can't go there and watch the movie okay let's go So first of all the movie starts off pretty nor- normal movie with a kid who likes Hitler very much so yeah the uh, the intro is just uh, in the first intro I actually thought that uh, he was Hitler's nephew and this was going to be a very boring documentary about Hitler but it wasn't so yeah Hitler is like hail me and the boy says hail hitler and i just realized something i must not hail hitler like it's very bad like hitler is a bad man and uh, so i am going to just beep it out orally beep hitler beep hitler okay yeah he just does that and then his mom is uh think some kind of a government officer because of the high power shown in the movie like she's a big government official you know the ones with all the suits and big big cars and stuff yeah so his mother sends him to a, a nazi swastika camp like it's a camp but uh, a million times more brutal the they just show you how to kill okay it's a killing camp yeah he goes there and then uh, yeah we see this uh, guy named captain k he looks like a giant villain like the kind of prof- professor who doesn't care about you like yeah you get whatever you want i don't care kind of professor and uh, yeah it just happens he gets his knife and his uh, uniform and then uh, we cut to the next next scene in which uh, they show him having a rabbit in his hand and he uh, some guy i don't know his name he's captain k's assistant he says uh, kill this rabbit or like twist its spine do something evil you know and he's like he's too afraid to do that so he lets go of the rabbit and uh, the rabbit runs away actually doesn't yeah like he he like says run rabbit run 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 but the rabbit doesn't run and just sits there and one of the boys picks it up picks picks it up and then you know manually kills it by like i really want to know how does a uh, how does that sound like does it sound like popping fingers like like i felt like it was a really satisfying sound which makes me uh a thousand times more evil but still it's satisfying yeah um, back to the story yeah concentration camp and then 
war efforts and uh, yeah he comes back home does some normal kids things has a argument about with his mother about politics and then goes to her room for some reason they never says, uh, specified like why he went to his mother's room he just went to his mother's room and then he finds like he is a scout right now okay he finds a, a little scratches like very tiny micro scratches on the floor uh, which are against some kind of wall like i never lived in that kind of house i just saw it once and never touched it so yeah it was like that attic area where you uh, store things but it was actually a latch like it could open up okay the a piece of his wall could open up so yeah with his uh, new knife he opens the wall carefully and then uh, slowly creeps in there you see a picture of uh, like you see a severed doll's head and um, spiders and you know all the dusty stuff that you store in the attic and then you see a pair of legs and then i paused the movie because uh, i started to imagine like a pair of legs is his uh, mother a murderer or a murderess i don't know yeah he saw a pair of legs and they uh, thought it was a mannequin or a dead body something like that but it was a alive girl a jewish girl to be precise like germans thought that uh, you know the nazis thought that uh, jews were impure blood and, and were the devil blah 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 you know uh, classic racism um, like that you know devil blah 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 only i don't know some weird a name like i don't know the guy who... yeah sorry the mic fell off yeah like they believe that one type of blood is the only type of blood that should exist okay let me just check something do i have enough recording time yeah something he finds a pair of legs uh, it's a alive jewish girl and he's like uh, stay away from me beast and uh, she's like she snatches his knife and then forces him down stairs and then you know just uh, and then magical hitler appears like i just love that guy the magical hitler appearing he eats a uh, unicorn's head once like he's joking you know like the good things but in these types of movies just the problem the only problem i have with these types of movies is that you have a guy with a agenda okay and he changes to the good side i never like that part in movies like why change him to the good side like uh, come to the dark side like star wars go to the dark side okay just don't become good It's just too boring then everyone can realize the plot too easily there's a bad boy and then he learns some discipline and then he becomes good that's it end of the movie period do something different if you the film makers are actually watching this video please um uh the schools have started so yeah summer holidays okay yeah he finds a jewish girl and then he like um, asks if jews are devils and um asks what he should do and blah 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 you have a montage of them uh, like you know bonding together a montage of them bonding together and then you know the classic things they like um, he thinks that he, uh, they are controlled by the devil so he starts writing a book on them named uh, you who jew 
yeah very bad name so yeah just this thing keeps on happening uh, his mother goes out to work i don't know what she like i don't know what work she does but she goes out to work oh listen to this come on did you hear that just one knuckle cracking okay yeah you who ju he starts writing a book on them <sighs> and then you know he tells to captain k like what happens if a ju comes to your house blah 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 you have a montage of them becoming friends and then one day like he's out doing you know scout business wearing a wearing some weird kind of thing like like germany was losing okay like situation was very bad like everybody thought that they would lose but were still fighting for the last breath yeah they keep on doing that and then he asks pants and pots and anything made out of steel for the war effort germany is severely running out of uh, resources to make you know oh no i changed the camera didn't i ouch sorry guys <laughs> okay yeah you do the yeah germany running out of resources and then uh, the boy he keeps roaming in the streets even though he has a house and then one day he like hears some kind of music or something and then keeps on walking towards it and then besides him are a pair of legs this time not a jewish pair of legs they are his mother's legs very clearly identified by uh, her iconic white and red shoes so yeah uh, major disappointment like he's absolutely traumatized now with a jewish girl in his house and uh, his mother dead and his father never to return from the italian war yeah you know classic things he's very depressed right now very down and then after a few days uh, a bomb drops on them uh nuclear not nuclear bomb just a normal bomb okay and then uh they uh you know the things you know it he's the bad said is going to lose obviously why yeah and then uh, they keep on fighting they put the bean bag type of things uh, to protect themselves from the bullets and then uh, you know last line of defense they are, they are just going to die right now major resource loss they are just going to lose the war okay he goes and hides under a building and then after the entire war is over uh, the russians indians chinese yeah uh, chinese russian indian uh, something something africans everyone come okay and then just celebrate uh, germany's independence and then the the boy he was a he was a nazi uniform which is why he's like take uh, being taken to be executed and then yeah the captain k i told you na like the guy who said that uh, is going to be the professor who doesn't care well actually it turns out that he's a very caring professor and then uh, what he does is he takes off his uh, nazi uniform he just wore a nazi coat that's it and he takes off his coat he takes off his coat the guy the boy's coat he jojo rabbit's coat 
and then pushes him aside and then a uh, american soldier comes and says why did you do that and he says jew jew get him off of me like you know but just the most fantastic part about is that part about this is that at the ending the captain k guy he was uh, a completely ridiculous war uniform like it has everything a war uniform should not have first of all camouflage which is absolutely useless considering it has pieces of glass on it which reflect like crazy and then mexican thread things and then one guy has a cape I think the uh, gameplay is coming to an end so yeah let's pack things up he uh, gets thrown out because he uh, like oh no he's a jew like the american soldier tells him to run and then he runs and then yeah you know just nothing happens and the gameplay has ended ah uh, no yeah he just basically runs away like a coward and then uh, kicks off hitler and says that uh, says to his uh, like the girl the jew who was living in his house yeah uh, let's go to paris or something and they both live happily ever after end of story period over yeah he kicks off hitler his imaginary hitler yeah hope you like this video and bye this thing won't off like this